You're listening to Cinematic Adventures, proud member of the Misfit Faction Media Network. Good morning, Vietnam! I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You're going to need a bigger boat. I feel the need, the need for speed. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Vargas? We don't need no Vargas. I don't have to show you any stinking vices. You make me want to be a better man. Nobody puts baby in a corner. I wish I knew how to quit you. Love means never having to say you're sorry. He's looking at you, kid. I've always depended on the kindness. Strange. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Would you be shocked if I put on something more comfortable? You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cinematic Adventures. If you're listening to us on the go, you can find us on Podbean, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. Also, iHeartRadio, because I totally forgot about it until I said it. As always, I'm one of your hosts, Paul, and with me is my podcast partner in crime, Sean. Sean, how are you today? I'm amazing. And you- Oh, okay. I, I'm I, I, amazing. I, I just thought that was enough. I wasn't sure if you were going to ask how I was doing. Well, I know you're doing good. Thanks, man. So uh, also from Multiverse Fancast, our sister podcast, we have Ronnie. Ronnie, how are you today? I'm doing swell, sir. You're how doing, are you? I'll, I'm doing swell. Thank you. Awesome. Swell, <laughs> swell as well. Swell and, as well. Uh, making her fit, fifth, fifth? Po- fifth, fifth podcast return from <laughs> Bibliophile... <laughs> You're not coming back it up. <laughs> From Bibliophiles Assemble is Melanie. Melanie, how are you today? I'm doing good. Glad to be back, guys. It's been fun. It's been a fun month. Oh, it has been a month. Yes, indeed. I so it's been a month, man. This, this I know. Flew. It, it this flew, flew. flew by a little bit. Yeah. Wow. He's 30 days. 30 days. Yes. Yeah. That's, it could be 31 fashion. days. It could, it could no. be 28 days. No, actually. No, today's no. the, today's today's the last day. Saying, so could be. But just in general. Yeah. Well, yeah, sometimes. Could it could be 28. Well, it's always 28. Mm, that's, that's, Definitely yeah. always 28 days. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we are here uh, to talk about probably a movie that Sean and I have been most Such excited Such a baller for. movie. This is a movie we, I have to say, we bonded over this movie back in- Whoa, uh, I just spaced out. Back in high school. Now I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> knows. But yes, we are talking about the 1987 Spaceballs, directed Dun-dun-dun. by M- Melson Brooks. I panicked. It's Mel, Mel Gibson. Mel, Mel Gibson. <laughs> Melanie Maglietta. Wait a minute. Mel. Mel. So yes, we are. We have been excited about this movie. I think this is one of the, like the biggest movies we've ever wanted to do on the podcast. Oh, this is definitely one we talked about right at the beginning with you know other Mel Brooks movies like Robin Hood. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, as I said, you know this is a movie you and me just kind of gravitated towards when we were younger, you know, trying to find that common, you know, thread that, you know, movies we both liked. This is when we were quoting back, back then. Oh my God. So many quotes, all the quoting, all the quoting. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all quotes all day. today. It's going to be a lot of quotes, a lot of, a lot of skits, a lot of bits, a lot of this and that. And what's, Mm, you, you you were going with the rhyming skits. So I, that's, I, cause I knew we were witless. So I wanted to go for this and that. Were you in the witless protection program? That was a struggle to watch, but I'm really proud of you for uh, just trucking through on it. <laughs> like even your eyes were like, Ugh. but um, really excited to talk about this. We actually all just watched it as a group. We did. And poor Ronnie's girlfriends. She was not ready for. She's not poor. Oh. Unfortunate Ronnie's girlfriends <laughs> because now she's double unfortunate. She's dating Ronnie and she had to deal with that. So, oh. Yeah, we're a weird bunch to watch a movie with sometimes. We're ter- it depends on the movie because well, Mel- some- Melanie is aware of this. I mean, we're yeah. we're yeah, I'm invested. Depending on the movie, we are. Uh, she contributes to it. She does. Yeah, she does. Not, I'd like, I'd not like as to much say, as though, some other people. Full enabler. For the record, we watched Mortal Kombat. What was it last night? The new one. The new yeah. one. Yeah. Oh. And she, as soon as the theme song starts going, she's like, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> And I'm like laying on the couch because I had a stomach ache. And I was like, what are you doing? What's <laughs> happening? Are we going to fight? Oh, man. <laughs> it was, it was first, fin- yeah, that, that was... Yeah. Oh, I should Fatality. have done the voice effects. That's that when the cat great. jumps on you and starts clawing at your face. <laughs> oh, God. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> I would have lost it. Yeah. 
But um, the one also, I forgot to even mention that one of the reasons we're doing Spaceballs tonight is to lead into our May discussion on Star Wars. Yes, because, I mean, if we weren't doing Star Wars in May, Spaceballs most likely would have been first. probably our second, first, first or second, second episode yeah. of the Mel Brooks month. You know, we did Robin Hood first, but 1A, one, one that would have been either or would have been fine to start off with. Um, but yeah, we just, it turned out to be, you know, perfect timing that we were decided to do uh, Star Wars in May. And we were like, you know what? Hey guys, well, let's, let's My, do space balls leading into Star Wars. That's yeah. well. yeah. It's really appropriate because, you know, tomorrow it's going to be May. <laughs> okay, JT. It's been like two months of her posting that meme. It's the I only saw it today. No, so. no, it was just today. I've been talking about it for yeah. two Sorry, sorry. I got so invested, I guess. I just <laughs> imagined. But, um... <laughs> Get with it. <laughs> so let's go around really quick and uh, just initial thoughts on Spaceballs, uh, maybe like your earliest remembering remembering of watching it. Yeah, I'm making up words. Re- earliest very, memory. Very rememberable. I like making Remembrance. up words. Make up words are the best. They, they work. They're very rememberable. They are very rememberable. <laughs> but anyway. Misremembered. So, misremembered. Oh unremembered. unremembered. I think you're doing a great job at speaking. Oh, will you stop sucking up to him, man? Jeez. Don't worry. Well, give it four seconds. He's going to say something that makes me roll my eyes. Three, two, one. Oh my God! What a letdown! <laughs> I still rolled my eyes. But uh, so, Sean, we'll start with you. Yes, sir. Initial thoughts on Spaceballs. Oh, initial thoughts. So, it is, in my opinion, probably the most cult classic of Mel Brooks' career. Mm-hmm. Um. So again, like Robin Hood, like. You know, the his later string of movies weren't probably as successful as his earlier, you know, group. So this one to me has grown over the last thirty plus years since it was released, you know, to our generation, to the Star Wars generation, and it, it kind of just lives on with us in my opinion, and it's definitely now probably considered one of his better movies. I, I I'm still flabbergasted that we have not done any of this for Halloween. Just throwing that out there randomly. What do you mean? I think we would make a great group of space balls for Halloween. Yeah, if we can make this dark helmet, helmet, I would go. Who would for be it. the dark helmet in our group? Oh, I got glasses, so it makes sense. And well, you can't breathe true. in this thing. I can't breathe in this thing. <laughs> uh, if you give me a bullhorn that I don't use, unless I'm right next to you. <laughs> I can't wait till we go through this movie scene by scene. Oh man, but uh, Melanie, because I don't like Ronnie that much. Uh, Neither do I. Initial, <laughs> initial thoughts on space balls. Uh, the first time I ever saw it in its entirety was with you guys. Uh, about, That's an experience. Like a year or two ago, it was definitely an experience. Um, it, it, you know, I I have not followed all of these Star Wars movies, uh, but I know the general synopsis of it. So, um, you know, not or knowing the basic characters and and realizing the spoofs and and making the connections and obviously being a Mel Brooks fan. For everything else, I was like, well, how, how have I not seen this movie? Mm-hmm. Um, so watching it, it was fun. It was really funny watching you both uh, reenact certain scenes so that, you know, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that <laughs> pans out as we go through the plot. But um, it was really interesting. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was really interesting, um, you know, watching it again with, with everybody as a group. Um, it was nice to kind of know the jokes and... And being able to make them, and even now, just kind of sitting here and singing certain songs, uh, you know, it's, it's been cool. it's been good. I it's definitely something that I would watch um, multiple times. What mm-hmm. about you, Ronnie? Um, well, thank you, Melanie. What's You're gonna? quite welcome. <laughs> um, she knows. Yeah, right. She knows. <laughs> she, knows. she gets it. Um, but never tell us she gets I, it. Gets it. K- kind of like I Mel. The it. first time I ever watched this was with you two. Because growing seriously, up, yeah, oh, that's well, funny. growing up, what do we do to these yeah. people? Well, growing up, we never really watched movies that much, you know. Okay. So, um, so the first time I watched it years ago, you know, with with you two, um, and I, I, I want to say this is probably my favorite Mel Brooks. Wow, movies. that's wow. a big statement. Yes, bold it statement, is. Cotton. Yeah. Um, again, one one A with uh, Men in Tights. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just feel this one's a little bit more quotable, a little more enjoyable, um, and I 
I like all the references. You have Wizard of Oz, Alien, Star Trek, mm-hmm. um, Star Wars, and Planet of the Apes, uh, <laughs> which is great. Um, and just poking fun at all this like sci-fi type movies. Um, and they did a great job with it. All right. So now that we've all kind of done our initial thoughts, we're going to jump into the synopsis. You didn't, you didn't do your thoughts. You didn't go. I like this movie. No, uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> it's a good start. No, I, I, movie I'm, make me happy. I'm really with you guys. Like this movie, it was my first Mel Brooks movie. It holds a very special place in my heart. And being like a big Star Wars fan and like all that, I this movie is just fantastic. Even as like a little kid, I think we talked about it during Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles, you have to be a little bit older to get all the the some of yes. the more y- yes, I agree with innuendos. that. Innuendos. I mean, even in this movie though, there are some jokes. That but there's go enough. Over your there's head. enough for like enough. little kids to enjoy. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um, I definitely remember seeing this movie as a kid and just dying. It was a great one. Are you okay? This was yeah, actually no, one of the, this okay. was actually one of the later Mel Brooks movies I saw. If you can believe that, really, yeah. I, I I can hmm. believe that. Uh, Sean, do you want to go through the cast really quick? We can, and this is a very good cast, I will say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So obviously, star of the movie, Mr. Mel Brooks himself. Um, he plays two characters. He plays President Scroob, who. I guess you could say it's based on Emperor Palpatine, but no, it's not. It's an original character. I'm sorry. He's yeah. nothing close to even resembling what you know Palpatine is. Mm. Um, I mean, I guess you could say he's more Palpatine from the prequels, but <laughs> we're not even going to go into that discussion. <laughs> and he plays yogurt. <laughs> I like yogurt. Even, even with, with strawberry. strawberries? <laughs> it's going to be a rough one. It's going to be a rough one. We both tried really hard. Uh, <laughs> secondly, we have the... Oh, the... Sorely missed John Candy mm-hmm. as Barf, who is your Chewbacca spoof. Um, he's a Mog. He's a Mog. Mog. Uh, my favorite in the movie, Mr. Rick Moranis as Dark Helmet. He yes. steals the movie. Uh, he yep. just any time he's on screen, I'm laughing. Mm-hmm. It doesn't Hilarious. matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Can I and, jump in with the fun yeah? Fact go for when it. You're ready? No, you can jump in right now if you like. So um, about Rick Moranis and John Candy. Uh, Rick Moranis suggested John Candy for the role of Barf, which yes. is pretty interesting. Mm. I believe mm. I, I don't know if they were best friends, but they both were part of the Second City uh, TV group from Canada, which is basically like SNL ish type yeah. of a, a TV show back in the uh, early eighties. Oh, fun fact on the but fun fact: if you ever, I mean, just our group alone. I mean, we grew up with Rick Moranis. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. when you think about it, all the movies he was in when we were younger, you know, obviously Ghostbusters is, was made before we were born, but. Yep, we grew mm-hmm. up on that movie. This, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, one of my favorite, oh, Little Giant, yeah, the oh, Flintstones. Little, little oh yeah, yeah. that's right. That's I mean, right. the guy was in so many movies that, like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. say shaped our childhood. I mean, and this was just one of them. And it, again, it just, he, I hope he come. I mean, obviously, we saw him in that new commercial with Ryan Reynolds. Yep. Um, so I'm <laughs> hoping that just maybe a really big fan. <laughs> I'm hoping he starts to do more things, but he's um, done some voice work. He's done voice work. Yeah, yeah. I know he was in uh, Brother Bear. Um, I think it was like the last thing he really did. But mm. um, so after M- Mr. Moranis, we have Bill Pullman as Lone Star, uh, Daphne Zuniga as Princess Vespa. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. I hope. Um, <laughs> Dick Van Patten as King Roland. Hey, I bet. Yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> George uh, George Winner as Colonel Sanders. Not gonna lie, I think Colonel Sanders might actually be my like one of my favorite characters. He's in the a perfect movie. straight yeah. man. I mean, He's he like, is just. The perfect straight man to Rick Moranis. Sir, how'd you better buckle up? <laughs> I mean, just it's the subtle things he does by like covering his, you know, yeah. private area every time that he's the, you know, the best is, screwing so up. So speaking of that, there are a lot of scenes where you see the the background extras and all that go to just instinctively mm-hmm. yeah. cover themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it fantastic. Um, he's in the he's in the credits, but he's only in basically one scene, and that's Michael Winslow yeah. as uh, he plays a radar technician. Um, for you Police Academy fans out there, everybody knows who Michael Winslow mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we have Miss jo- uh, Miss Joan Rivers, who provides the voice of Dot Matrix, who is basically our spoof on C three PO. And I mean that's about the main cast right there. Yeah. All right. So let's start going into the uh, the actual plot. We're not gonna we're gonna have more fun doing quotes and scenes mm. than the actual plot. So who knows where this is gonna go? But. It may actually be our least tangent-filled episode. I think that's a... I was never good with tangents. Oh, God. We're bad with tangents. Thank God for producer Melanie. Mm. I hate math. 
Melanie has <laughs> been... Oh, no, she's been hanging out with Ronnie. <laughs> Melanie has been praised <laughs> for keeping us on track. Speaking of I which, if uh, you guys have not seen our first ever YouTube video, producer Melanie is the one that made the whole thing possible, basically. She kept us in line, she filmed it, and she did a great and job. And she smacked her hands, too. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was a clapboard, but I didn't really do a great I job. I say if that makes it up to 100 views on YouTube, we release the blooper cut. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the movie starts off with an opening crawl saying that Planet Spaceball has basically been – they lost their air, their all their fresh yeah. air because of the terrible president's group. So Scroob is scheming to force King Roland of the neighboring planet Druidia – Oh, there's a lot of puns in this. I love it. Uh -huh. To uh, give them the code that protects their air shield. So he is going to do that by kidnapping the princess of Druidia, Princess Vespa, a Druish princess. She doesn't look <laughs> Druish. <laughs> so on the day of her wedding, she's supposed to be getting married to, I, again, I didn't get this as a kid, but Prince, Prince Valium. Prince Valium, yeah. Yeah. The I, I didn't get that as a kid either. You know, it was just, you know, it's like, okay, the guy yawns a lot. So yeah. mm -hmm. where have you been? <laughs> So Princess Vespa decides, and again, another like subtle bit when they're walking and every time they stop, they stop the organ. See, that's funny. But to me, the funnier part was when the king goes, okay, everybody start on the left foot. And then she Daddy, goes, that's your right. Yeah. It's like, it's too late. <laughs> Keep going. going. <laughs> that's going to be our wedding reception. <laughs> it's stuff like that that yeah. just I find hysterical. Mm -hmm. So Princess Vespa decides, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Right past the altar, down the hallway, and, and out the door. <laughs> so she leaves her wedding with her uh, droid of honor, uh, yeah. dot dot matrix, and um, they leave in a Mercedes too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and her true. license they didn't, they didn't save the one. car. Yeah, they didn't save the car. They never no. saved the car. No. no, they never get that back. The insurance could be crazy on that. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. So Scroob sends his number one lackey, dark helmet. I would say he's even more iconic sometimes than Darth Vader. It, I mean, he is the ultimate tie into Star Wars to me in this whole movie mm -hmm. because yeah. it's, it's obvious it's Darth Vader. I mean, yes, Barf is Chewbacca, but it's still human, you know, more human. So yeah. it's not, a, he talks. Dark Helmet is your, to me, this is a spoof of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's other, you know, it can go anywhere with this movie, but. That right there is your tie-in. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and everything you need to know about Dark Helmet, you learn in the first second first of meeting second you him. See oh, him. Yeah. He's walking. I mean, the, the crew members are terrified. And then he lifts up his helmet. I can't <laughs> breathe this in this thing. thing. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's the best. And so they're using their gigantic ship yes. <laughs> to try and catch... Princess Vespa. That opening scene takes a minute and a half to get through that entire yeah. that entire yeah. ship. Oh my god, it is, it is obscenely long, and I love <laughs> it. But um, let's see. So King Roland decides to enlist the help. Oh no! Well, first, do we meet Lone Star first? No, you he no. yeah yeah you do meet Lone Star first. when King Roland calls him or no, after before. Oh yeah, before. okay. So we get introduced to Lone Star, played by Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. I love Bill Pullman. I love me some Bill Pullman. I I he was. You know, I think I know when I first saw this movie because I think I had seen Casper and probably Independence Day, so that's how I knew Bill Pullman. Mm -hmm. So I know that's when I saw this movie for the first time was mid '90s because, yeah. you know, he was fairly new. I think when he was unknown. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. fun fact: Hit me. Uh, Mel Brooks wanted Tom Cruise or Tom Hanks to play Lone that's Star. That's right. So I said he got a bill. Well, because he cast John Candy and Rick Moranis, and he was like, okay. That, that part's good enough. I can get an unknown now to play this character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And his first line's perfectly delivered. Barf. Barf. But, uh, and you get, oh, and we, we and meet we Barf. Meet, and we meet Barf. Yep. In a sticky Rocking situation. out to a Bon Jovi song. Love and it. Yeah. Eating his dog, his mog food. Well, mog. Yeah, yeah. And then he's got the dog biscuits. Yes. You want <laughs> I love the, uh, every time he turns, he hits him with his tail. Yes. Yeah. The guy. <laughs> love it. But, um, so they get contacted by the gangster, Vinny. Who is mm -hmm. uh, a lackey of Pizza, Pizza the Hut? Hut. <laughs> that's still the grossest thing mm -hmm. to me. That that's so. I it just. It, it, I mean, I know Pizza Hut's still around, but just I thought that was great. Oh yeah, yeah. you that's, can't make you can't make that up. That's, that's hilarious. Pizza the Hut. <laughs> that was actually the first joke my dad told me was in the movie. He's like, "Oh, by the way, you know Jabba." I was like, yeah, well, they have a character called Pizza the Hut. And I was like, oh, wait, what? Genius. <laughs> that is, oh, I got to see this movie now. That is right? highbrow comedy right there. So, 
I'm sorry, now I'm giggling. But um, so Pizza the Hut says that they, you know, that they owe him money, and he's like, oh, "I'll pay you next week," and he's like, "No, tomorrow." This this whole movie takes place over one day. Pretty much, yeah, crazy. Mm, two days. Because no. remember, they camp out in the desert. Oh, that's right. Oh, true. Uh, yeah. true. You could even say more than that, but you know who's counting. It's like rent. <laughs> it all happens on Christmas. In the, in the, in the in show. The, in the show. Yeah. But um, so Pizza the Hut has now, due to inflation and just the market shares, <laughs> has now demanded that it's instead of 100,000 space bucks, because space bucks, it's actually a million. That's unfair. One million. Different space movie. Space bucks. D- different movie. Different movie. Get out of here with that. But um, That's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so now Lone Star and Barf are on the hook for a million space bucks, and uh, Vinny starts eating pizza. It was very strange. Yeah, very You're strange. delicious. Yeah. You're delicious. That was so quite interesting. Quite interesting. <laughs> so King Roland actually contacts them, and they're like, "Hey, we'll do it for a million. A million. Oh, you're starting to fade out. Lose picture there, Your Highness. <laughs> Much like our YouTube video tonight, but uh." Nah. nah. So technical difficulties. Always technical difficulties. At least the podcast still goes well. Everything turns. That's off. all that matters. That's all that matters. So they five seconds later is gonna be like, oh, I forgot to hit record, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's checking right now. No, he's not. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. But um, so <laughs> <laughs> barf, watch your tail. So Lone Star and Barf end up making a deal to go rescue. Princess Vespa, and one of my least favorite continuity errors of all time happens. When they show the radar, they show that Princess yeah. Vespa and Spaceball One are oh, flying yeah. at each other. Like they're flying at each other. Yeah. I always took that more as Spaceball One is catching up to her. Okay, but that's, that's fair. Oh, okay. That's how I took it, but I see your you know, your point to mm-hmm. that. Thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah, that's yeah. that's how we get along. Like, you know. So um we get one of our favorite bits with uh Fire a warning shot well, across you miss, her nose. You miss across one of the, her nose. One of the, to me, one of the, it's not one of it's not funnier, but you know, with the uh, with the buns. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She, she takes off yeah. her head. To me, that was that was that was great. Jackie chuckled at that one. Yeah, yep. So um, and the coffee. Oh yeah, hot, <laughs> too hot. hot. <laughs> so, I always have coffee when I watch Radar. Right? Right, you know that. I know that, sir. We everybody knows that. Of course we do, <laughs> sir. So. <laughs> Be a rough uh, one. Now that I have my coffee, I'm ready to watch, <laughs> ready radar. To watch radar. radar. Yeah. So they catch up and they use the tractor beam. Uh, well, first we get our, our favorite so, bit. Yeah. Fire a warning shot, shot across, across her nose. nose. Careful, you idiot! I said across your nose, not up, up it. it. Sorry, sir. I'm doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole, major asshole. And his cousin? He's an asshole too, sir. First class. Gunner Philip first, asshole. Gunner first class. Gunner first class. Philip asshole. How many assholes we got on this ship? Yo! Yo! I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Keep firing, assholes. I like as a kid. That was always my favorite. I yeah, also same. like how instead of like just me pressing <clears throat> the effects button for the dark helmet voice, we just do it ourselves. Oh, because yeah, better. No, that was the effects. See, as a, as a kid, that was my favorite <laughs> scene. But obviously, after you know, you and me going back and forth in oh, the yeah. future scene. Mm. But yeah. Uh, so they get uh, they catch Vespa in the tractor beam at the same time, <laughs> Barf and Lone Star are on their way, and they decide to jam the radar. Yeah, jam it. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately they lost the bleeps, they lost the sweeps, and they lost the creeps. The what? The what? And the what? I'm not doing it. I can't do it. <laughs> I I cannot do justice to Michael Winslow in this. No, no one can. I mean, you know. That's yeah. about it. Yeah, good, good one. You, 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 yeah, no, you I nailed it. Yeah. it that time. Yeah, that, yeah. That, wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Seventeen, that seventeen tries. That wasn't too bad. Mel Brooks saved hundreds of dollars. With that, yeah, with him. His, oh yeah, yeah. Do yeah. his own yeah. effects. Pretty awesome. What, had he already done Police Academy at this yes. point? Yes. yes. Police Academy one was eighty four, so yeah, mm-hmm. he was already pretty well known mm-hmm. for that. So, I don't know what else he's done. You know, I don't know if he was a stand-up when he did those voices. I don't know how he was mm. discovered, but I don't know. I've seen him on like late night shows. Yeah, but, also doing stuff. But he'll always go down as you know, Police Academy. That's oh, that's, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. that's his that's his fame yes. right there is the Police Academy movies. So they catch, uh, they they're trying to catch Vespa, but Lone Star after he jams it with Raspberry Jam because there's only one man. Who dare? That scene get still gets me when because when, yeah. you see Colonel Sanders, he's like, oh god. <laughs> and he backs up, and then the camera just nails. <laughs> Again, another recycled Mel Brooks uh, gag, but he uses it differently, and mm, it works. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mog, the Mog, 
Barf. The mug. He's got a name, man. Barf manages to get them all out with the match luggage. And, yeah, Princess Vespa and Lone Star don't like each other at first. At first. Disney comedy. <laughs> but anyway. So they manage to escape, and they escape by using their secret hyper jets. Switching and, to secret hyper jets. <laughs> and by far, I, I would say the best physical comedy of the entire movie. They have to go straight to ludicrous speed. Light speed too slow. So, we're going to have to go straight to yeah. ludicrous speed. <gasps> I don't think the ship can take it. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Prepare ship. <laughs> and then he goes, and he's like, fasten all seatbelts. Secure all the animals in the zoo. <laughs> Cancel the three ring circus. <laughs> Close the ball. <laughs> so they go to ludicrous speed because they go straight to plaid. And you just, you got dark helmet hanging on, you know, what have I done? And I, I will never not laugh at when he goes flying, crashes into the panel, and they pull him out. Oh, it's all dented. <laughs> yeah. Fine. How have you guys been? <laughs> Are we stopped? We're stopped, sir. Oh, so why don't we all take a five-minute break? Good, sir. Smoke if you got him. And he just drops. <laughs> you can't make it up. No. But uh, unfortunately, they run out of gas on the, on the Told window. you we should yes. put more than five bucks worth in. <laughs> I, one, one line I never got as a kid was, Quick, give me a reading. All of our father be our name. And I was like, stop that. that. <laughs> so they land on uh, the desert moon of Vega. Mm. And they decide to travel on foot to evade capture. Yes. Yeah. So they do. It doesn't go out well for them. You know, they pass out. Yeah, we get our little uh, yeah. nod to Lawrence of Arabia with that sweeping music. Yeah. You know? Nice dissolve. <laughs> nice dissolve. And then, I mean, as much as we, we joke, I mean, especially when we've done Tough Mudders, you know, it's like, it's like, how much longer we got? I guess I got three. only three more dunes to go. He said, said that five dunes ago. I got nothing left. Oh, waiter. Check, please. Now comes probably our favorite scene in the entire movie. Well, our favorite scene. I don't know if it's Melanie. That's why I looked, I looked directly at you <laughs> yeah, when I, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. The camera. No, oh, the camera turned off. A sore subject, Roddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There'll be a nice teaser, though, for Sunday. Yes. Um, we get Spaceballs, the movie. <laughs> Which Corporal, is still, yep. sir. I have a really good idea. Let's get a video cassette of Spaceballs the movie. Colonel Sanders, may I speak to you for a moment? How could there be a video cassette of Spaceballs the movie? We're still in the middle of making it. That's true, sir. But there's been a improvement in home video marketing. The movie is out before the movie is done. Instant cassettes. Instant cassettes. Oh, uh, this whole this whole scene dates the movie more than anything else. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, the Mr. Rental opens up, and it's all Mel Brooks <laughs> movies it's lined yep. up in the exact order they were released. And he, he go, yeah, he goes in order. And he's like, yep. like, like, like producers, you know, Frankenstein, 12 chairs. Place and saddles. Yeah. Here it is, sir. Spaceballs. Space the movie. Prepare to fast forward. Prepare fast to fast forward. forward. So, and then you get the <laughs> little recreation. <laughs> yeah. Pass this part. In fact, never play this again. And then the scene that, well, Sean and I can do. We can do. We're not. Gr I mean, we used to be a lot better at it. I've gotten worse. What the hell Paul, am I looking at? When, when does this, this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that's happening now is happening now. Well, go back to then. When? Now. Now? We, we passed now. We, we messed it up. We're I just going to take a break now. <laughs> Smoke if you got him. When will then be now? Soon. How soon? Yeah, that's still one of my favorite. Whoo! <laughs> well, it, it works because of their reaction. Yeah, you know who we we have not mentioned President's group once. No, because he's not the we did, funniest part of the movie. But yeah. we did get we we breezed over the the beaming. Oh, Snotty did beam yeah. her twice. And yeah, it was wonderful. What's what's her name in this? Um, I don't think you ever find out her name. No, she says it. Commander Zircon. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I uh -huh. like when she looks at the camera. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? It worked on Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> so, President Scrooge has been, you know, told... The, oh, we also skipped one of my favorite scenes. I, we're, we're doing... We're yeah, all we're over. all over the place. Over. But, um... We're what? sniffing the air. When uh, they catch the uh, <laughs> the ship, mm -hmm. and... Yahoo, Lord Helmet! He looks... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what was that? I always like that scene. not in here! And, they and they're all, all like, ah! Drop the guns, and they're all... Lone like, Star! Oh. And he hits the thing. And Lone Star! <laughs> hits him and knocks him into the car. Oh, God, this movie's fantastic. You can't beat this movie. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. My face hurts from laughing. <laughs> but, um, so, President Scrooge advises that they comb the desert. <laughs> comb the desert! After, you know, the twins pull the covers up. I didn't yes. get that as a kid. No. No. And he, <laughs> President Scrooge comes up with the, with book, the book upside, upside down. down. Yeah. And I can only imagine Melanie sitting there going, 
My books. That's not how you read books. <laughs> that's not how you read books. That's not how you read books. Come in. When you're in that situation, it is. And <laughs> Fair enough. Chew your gum. Fair enough. <laughs> but um, so they they decide they're gonna comb the desert with gigantic combs, mm-hmm. and, sir, and a pick. What? And Are we pick. being too literal? There's no. I find that I never got that as a kid, but the fact that he turns with the megaphone, yeah. to yell in his face, and then he turns back around to yell at them. Find anything, anything yet? <laughs> Nothing yet, sir. What about you guys? Not a thing, sir. What about you guys? We ain't found shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just great. But um, the heroes are rescued by um, what are they called? The Dinks. The Dinks. Dink. 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 When did we get to Disneyland? And he they... foreshadowed Disney buying Star Wars. <laughs> oh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So they bring him. They bring the heroes to the Temple of Yogurt. Which is a sentence I never thought I'd say in my entire life. <laughs> is that a new flavor? What the, is that? It's the everlasting know-it-all yogurt. <laughs> and of course, it's like your your yogurt. um your parody of Wizard That's of Oz. That's your Wizard of Oz parody yeah. right there. Yeah. And uh, what does yogurt do there again? Merchandising. Merchandising. No. What do you, Melanie? What was your favorite of the merchandising? Was it Spaceballs the flamethrower? No. The, the kids love that. One. Kids love that one. Nope. Spaceballs the dot. <laughs> I like how Spa- Spaceballs the coloring book was just a Transformers, Transformers book. Transformers coloring yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Love it. I and like the placemat. Spaceballs I like the book. sheets. Yeah. Toilet paper. Spaceballs the toilet, <laughs> toilet paper. Toilet paper. Yeah. Producer Rob in the background. <laughs> but uh, the, the the name of this episode is going to be Spaceballs the podcast. Well, obviously. It's the only thing. Logical on. thing. But um, so now we find out that Yogurt's also the keeper of a greater magic. The Force? No. No. The 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 shorts. Yeah. Sean's got the shorts. I'm uncomfortable. No, literally. He's wearing them. He's wearing shorts. Oh, God. I hate you so much. (laughs) My shorts are bigger than yours. Oh, my God. I hate you both so much. (laughs) Don't don't. You have more than one shorts? (laughs) I have a big pair of shorts at home. (laughs) Sometimes I like to go shortsless. I'm uncomfortable. (laughs) So... So the Schwartz. <laughs> Why would you bring it right back to what they were talking about? Because it's the most important part of everything. No, it's not. The ring is bupkis. <laughs> found the cracker jack box. <laughs> so, Yogurt starts training Lone Star in the art of the Schwartz, which is, again, another phrase I never thought I'd say out loud. <laughs> um, at the same time, Dark Helmet finds their little secret hatch. I love how he's got the, uh, yeah. instead of, he's now with the safari. He's, he's in the, the safari. safari. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> No, you fool. And it opens. He has the he little eye holes, but opens up the whole thing to talk. He goes, yeah. I, I, I sense the Schwartz. No, you got the upside. I got the downside. <laughs> Two sides to every Schwartz. Ah, oh, makes sense. We will make her come to us. <laughs> so they managed to trick Princess Vespa and Dot into coming. It's well, a... I tricked Princess Vespa. Dot just was too late. You yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. Too bad her virgin alarm wasn't on. Mm. Yeah. Her x-ray vision was on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't, yeah. It wasn't fast enough. And then they just pulled her battery out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were just like, nope, you're good. Yeah. So they get taken by the Spaceballs, and Lone Star and Barf come running out, and they're like, Spaceballs. And I was like, Too that's late. the name of the movie. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Who would have so thunk they, it? So, you know. Yoda, uh, Yoda. Wow. Not Yoda. Whoa, copyright issues. Yogurt <laughs> gives them more gas. And, uh... Gotta hire Spaceballs the Lawyers. Spaceballs the Lawyers, yes. Nice. Uh, so um, we and, did uh, also... Hopefully we'll see Yogurt again in Spaceballs 2. The, the search, search for, for more money. money. Uh, we also get my... I might say it's my favorite scene. So Princess Vespa. Yeah. The whole scene That's of all him, you got? Because I'm not going to be able to get through it. Jewish princesses are often attracted to money and power, and I am both. <laughs> the way they do that scene is great because they start from behind him, and you're like, oh, okay, he's talking. Good thing that like, helmet's so big. I was like, <laughs> he's got action. Uh, Sir, what? <laughs> knock that, on that my door. Be, knock next time. That's one of the best scenes ever. That, again, Did you I, see anything? <laughs> oh, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls, dolls again. Done. <laughs> That was entirely improvised by Rick Moranis. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Your helmet is so, so big. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I'm here to save my girlfriends. <laughs> hey, what'd you do to my friends? Same thing I'm going to do to you, big boy. <laughs> and you too. Ah, ah. Ah. Oh, we can't so, do this. This is great. Uh, they blackmail King Roland. 
by threatening to have Dr. Schlocken, the greatest plastic, <laughs> plastic surgeon in, in the galaxy all... and Beverly Hills. I love how I could say Schlocken, but I had a lot of trouble with plastic surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're going to give her back Undo her the old, nose old nose. <laughs> no! It was a Sweet 16 present. <laughs> so, in the history of greatest movie combinations of all time, King Roland relents. Yes. And give they were going to perform that surgery without anesthesia too, oh, savages, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. with been, a butcher knife. Cause yeah, that's how we do it. That would have been one. unpleasant. Yeah, it's one, two, one, two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was giggling. Five. No, five, five. So the combination <laughs> is one, two, three, four, five. Ironically, President Group has the same combination on his luggage. Yeah. Wow. Because only an idiot would do that. Mm. It's kind of... <laughs> Thank you, King Roland. What'd sure. you do? Turn off the Turn, turn off, off the, the wall. Screen. No, you turned off the entire the movie. movie. We're back. back. <laughs> and we have the combination. Schlocken! <laughs> yeah, we, we still have not finished this plot. Yeah, this is rough. Well, you know. And then you get the maid. <laughs> Mega maid. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And uh, so Spaceball 1 actually can, is a transformer, we find out. And they are going to suck the air out <laughs> through the air shield with a giant... Suck. Sucker. <laughs> sucker the air out? Sucker suck. the air out. Hey, you suck the air out of those. I'm really trying to get through this plot. Please leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, so they're going to... Are you sorry for that? They're going to suck in the air. I'm bobbing a boopity beep and a pop. I thought they were Jewish. I mean, Druish. Druish. <laughs> No, that's, that's all we need. A <laughs> Druish princess. Yeah. So anyway. Italian so, Drew. The maid suck of the air out. Thank you, dear. It's suck of the suck. I suck of the air. <laughs> not a, slap bl- of the, not slap a of blow. The not a blow. A suck. Slap of the bass? <laughs> slap of the bass. Why does everything slap I do sound like a leprechaun? <laughs> so as they're sucking the air out, they decide the heroes are going to use the Schwartz. The Schwartz. Come on, Schwartz. <laughs> Again, things I never thought I'd say out loud. And he he, he makes Mega May go from suck to blow. <gasps> yeah. It's irreversible. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> like my different. raincoat. <laughs> Sanders, uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. I can't make decisions. I'm a uh, president. <laughs> oh, man. This movie was ahead of its time. Uh, <clears throat> so, they also figure out that there must be a self-destruct mechanism somewhere in the central brain area. So, they travel through the ear canal and... Mm-hmm. Um, they're scanning. There's what stuff. are you doing? I'm scanning. Yeah, that's what I just said. I know. I'm just, you know. Thank you for reiterating. You're welcome. You're the best. <laughs> so you were having trouble getting through everything, so I'm just trying to help you along. I'm having a lot of trouble getting through all this. Man. That's why I told you to host. Oh god, and I got Scott Pilgrim after this. This is gonna be rough. So they managed to find where the self-destruct mechanism is, and uh, he's going down there. He's going down there to do the Vulcan neck pin. I wouldn't. <laughs> so and yes, we do get the the. What are you doing? <laughs> The Vulcan, Vulcan neck, neck pinch? pinch? No, 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 stupid. It's it's lower, you know, where the neck meets the shoulders meet the neck. <laughs> You're like this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just drops. <laughs> but um so of course he goes in there and I still don't get why there's a shaving station next to the self strike button, but for the sake of comedic timing it works just fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Yeah. So uh he uses a Schwartz, gets uh space balls to shaving cream. Um, which is right up there with Spaceballs, the toilet paper. Mm-hmm. Don't ever call on that wall, though. It's an unregistered wall. <laughs> and uh, he knocks out the two guards. And, of, of course, the one guard disappears afterwards. You never see him for the rest of the scene. Well, he's on the floor, like passed out. I know, but you never see him for the rest I of the never... scene. But I hope he's okay. It can't be weird if a camera just panned in on a guy that was passed out. Yeah. Almost as weird as a cameraman getting hit by a Schwartz lightsaber. <laughs> see, now you're just thinking too far into it. Uh, he did it. Mm, it's true. You so. He's about to uh, hit the self-destruct button, and of course he stops, because Dark Helmet has arrived. Oh, no. And who is Dark Helmet to Lone Star? Anybody? His, was it, his father's cousin's... Father's brother's cousin's nephew. Former roommate. Former roommate. roommate. What's that make us? Absolutely Absolutely nothing. nothing. (laughs) Say it again. Which is what you are about to become. (laughs) Now, I still don't get why he just didn't fire his uh, wiener laser right at him. Schwartz. Schwartz laser. I hear yeah. you have the ring. <laughs> and I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Yeah, I didn't get that as a kid. Ah? Do you get it now? Uh, no. No, they had to explain it to him. Twice. Ah. Yeah, one for each Schwartz. You do hate when your Schwartz gets twisted. She had to explain the upside oh, and yeah. the downside. 
It's two sides <laughs> to every short. They were having a short. Bike. Maybe if I put my, my, my knee up on yours. And, and we do get there. one of the most dramatic, <laughs> dramatic fights of all time. And, of course, we do get, like, in the typical Mel Brooks fashion, during a fight scene, they pan back to see... You know the camera crew. The camera crew. Yeah, <laughs> like, the one random cam. The operator gets like you know ah, struck down. Ah, uh, he did it. What? Uh, it reminds me of Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. with the donut. Mm-hmm. But um, hey. so we also get the him holding him by isn't, the isn't helmet. Isn't it a hot dog? <laughs> is it a hot dog in Men in Tights? Yeah. Sean, is it a hot? Might have been. Hot been. Hot I don't dog. remember. Is he eating a hot dog? Hot dog. Could have been. Uh, could have been. Yeah. I'm going with Mel on this one. Gonna, I, I, I believe it. I'm gonna I think just because she likes it more than you. Are we gonna watch? It? We're gonna watch Men in Tights later. Yep. Fast forward. Fast <laughs> forwarding, sir. Fast, fast <laughs> forward. Mel just be like, "Why are you calling me, sir?" I panicked. <laughs> so they're having their Schwartz fight. Yes, they are having a full Schwartz fight. Yeah. Oh. Just Schwartz on Schwartz action. Yeah. There's videos for that. <laughs> Schwartz.com. <laughs> I think you have, to pay hub? For, you have to pay for premium. Yeah, it's uh, pay for premium. Shortshub.com. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Finding the shorts. <laughs> Please stop making words. <laughs> but, um, so yes, uh, technically, I, I still argue that Lone Star won and that Dark Helmet had to use trickery. Mm. The oldest trick in the book, actually. Yeah. So he What's just, with you, man? Come on. Come on. Oh, let me just give it back up. No! Oh. <laughs> I can't. I lost the ring. But the ring is Bupkis. Bupkis. Found it in a Cracker Jack box. So um, one of my favorite shots is when when Lone Star gets up, it's clearly his stunt double. Yeah. Right? Like backing away from the camera, and it's like a full frontal shot of him. Yeah. I, I, I didn't <laughs> full frontal of his shorts. I didn't have a problem with that only because we had the stunt, the stunt double joke earlier. Oh, we didn't even go over them rescuing them. No. Nah. Nah. Yeah, no, we, been... we did not. I was yeah. waiting for my moment. Well, I think One, we should definitely we should rewind. Let's, let's Moment prepare to rewind. Time. Rewinding. Prepare to rewind. Yeah. Rewinding, sir. So right. they get captured. So <laughs> after they get captured, yes, and they're being held in Spaceball City <laughs> in the royal cells. Because that's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bar- it's important. I, I still like to point out that the two guards that they knocked out Looks somehow, like a Winnebago with wings. somehow got new helmets and guns. Yeah. It was around the corner of the armory. Yeah. Those are the guys who stole our uniforms. Beat the shit out of us, too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so as they're going into the cells, they hear the dulcet tones being sung. This is your moment. You can do it. Come on. Nobody knows <laughs> the trouble I've seen. What was that? Nobody that knows. It's coming from in and there. My sorrow. That's her. She's a bass. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knows. I can't do it anymore. That was really impressive, actually. That was really good. Yeah, that was really I can't good. do it anymore. But um, Mel Brooks actually wanted someone else to sing that part, but um, the actress, Daphne, uh, wanted to do it on her own, and she knocked it out of the ballpark, in my opinion. So. It's yeah. <laughs> but uh and yes you did they, it better though you did do nobody it better that was very good nobody knows <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sing that at the wedding guys oh, yeah. oh yes <laughs> screw know, the band it's ready. a true story yeah. too this is gonna be constant that song back to back to you're back you're gonna to see back. me take off my tuxedo it's the Spaceballs armor and I'm just gonna put the little hat on yeah we'll make a Spaceballs we'll make it a the wedding little hat for your shorts <laughs> your shorts Ronnie will be uh, dressed up as Dark Helmet, marrying you guys. You know, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll work. No, we all know I'm Barf. That's true. Bartholomew. That's true. Bartholomew. <laughs> Are you the one getting married? No. They get over there. <laughs> so they do manage to save uh, the princess and mm-hmm. Dot, and of course we get the the Wilhelm scream. Get the Wilhelm scream. Mm-hmm. We get that great. You know, they're running towards the closing door. It's yeah. closing. So they jump and they're captured, and the, the bad guy has a little monologue, and he's like. And they turn, they turn around, and it's not them. And they're like, "You idiots! These are not them. You've captured their stunt doubles." I'm. I still question why the Princess Vespa one had a Hitler mustache. Oh God, it's hilarious! It's just, it's, that's just funny. That's though, what to makes me. it funny for comedy. Because it was a guy. And the cigar. You know why? Guy. That was what was because, funny. Because yeah. back then you could get away with that. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. 
But um, well, so, I thought the cigar breaks. was even funnier. Oh, yeah. He's like doing that with a cigar in his yeah, mouth. Right? You know? That was very impressive. Yeah. Anyway. So um, <laughs> going back to where we actually were in the movie before we prepared to rewind. Um, so after Dark Helmet is defeated by his own Wiener Laser Blast. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he, he His hits head his, hits the self-destruct button. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. Most polite, <laughs> most polite oh, yeah. computer voice. Oh, yeah. Six, what happened to seven? Just, Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> and uh, so Colonel Sanders orders the evacuation of Spaceball One. And we get our only theme song in the entire movie. It's typical, mm-hmm. typical 80s. Oh, it's so 80s. Oh, yeah. So 80s, it. but I love it. Give me all of it. Spaceball's the theme song. <laughs> oh, God, it's so good. If you're living in a bubble and you... I don't know. That's about it. <laughs> I didn't, the space I didn't realize this podcast was a musical. It could be. Spaceballs the musical. <laughs> I mean, Watch I, it. It's coming to Broadway in two years. Imagine. Yeah, I know. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah, there was an animated show of this. Yeah. Yeah, I never watched it. Watched one episode. It was absolutely horrible. Oh. I'm not surprised. I heard the uh, the clerk show was really good, though. Mm. But, You've um, said that numerous times. I've heard that, yes. Yeah. Thank you. And said it. What? What? Who? You? Where? They Me? want you to take the roles. Well done. <laughs> so um, the evacuation begins, and of course you get like all those things that Colonel Sanders wanted to close down during ludicrous speed. You all see, the... <laughs> pizza to go. Pizza guy. The clowns are all running. The bearded Sorry. lady. Bearded lady. The zoo. <laughs> the bear. I never bear. noticed that his escape pod was <laughs> had his <laughs> helmet. Dark helmet yeah. around it. <laughs> hey, that's my escape pod. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the bearded lady. What are you? Yeah, what are the freaks? freaks? Come back, you fat bearded bitch. <laughs> I think that it's Rick Moranis dropping that line. Yeah. So every escape pod gets taken, and it's just Scrub. Are, are you look like I was going to say, say fun fact: the scene of the of the escape pods launching that's from, from Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yes, Star Wars, yeah. thousand percent. Because ILM did the uh, did the effects for this movie. Mm-hmm. Amazing, I love it. But um, so they managed to. Try and find the cancellation button. <clears throat> cancellation button? Hurry! <laughs> I like how they all took three separate uh, staircases. staircases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? It's got to be here. Yeah. Got to be. The ship is... You There's know, only like, the one right? control panel. Ten miles there. long. and you know, could be anywhere. <laughs> well, if you walk, the movie would be over. Oh, yeah. That's true. It's that always one of my favorite lines in the movie. <laughs> the ship is too big. If I walk, long, the movie will be, be over. over. <laughs> As he's running, he does the salute. <laughs> so, unfortunately... The ship does explode. Because the button's out of order. Yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. The ship explodes and the head lands on a deserted planet. A very familiar looking planet. Mm, Earth. One, yes. I was going to say one of my Space favorite. Space balls? Oh, shit. There goes the planet. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So they all survived. So there was potential for that sequel. I didn't know monkeys could talk. They're apes. <sighs> yeah. Got to be politically correct. <laughs> and it's a planet. Up what did that have to do with politics? No, politically correct. Oh. It's it's not so much politics. Politics, 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 politics. <laughs> wow. Thank wow. you, Melody. Well done. That was great. Well, well done. Thanks. 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 Nobody that knows. Was great. Wow. And the episode is over. And the award and goes scene. to. <laughs> Thank you. But um, so they get the princess back to uh, Druidia. The heirs return to Druidia. Everything's happy. But Lone Star's like, sorry, babe, I got to go. And he leaves. But with, before they land and they leave, they find out that Pizza the Hut was locked in his uh, limousine and ate himself to yeah. death. Yeah. And they didn't get a shit ton of money. Mm. <laughs> no, he yeah. turned down the million dollars. Down. Yeah. All he wanted was 347 space bucks for, for gas, gas and, and tolls. <laughs> yeah. And then we get uh, one of the one of the more fun scenes, like just completely out there scenes. Uh, yeah. Well, first of all, you get a very, you know, you, you, you if you don't notice it, understandable but you get a little cameo by the uh, millennium falcon yes yeah and apparently an x-wing's there too i haven't seen it though i yeah mm-hmm. no i only look for the millennium falcon but i'm sure probably you're right the yeah. x-wing is there yeah M- are arguably one of the most iconic spaceships of all time mm-hmm. spaceship until fat until the new fat until the new fast and furious <laughs> comes out then i think we'll have a new iconic spaceship oh my god why no one's gonna watch it we're gonna, no, we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch it. it. We're gonna absolutely we're gonna, watch it. We're gonna hate it. Yeah, we're gonna but... make Sean watch uh, Tokyo Drift beforehand. I'd actually probably rather watch Tokyo Drift than watch this. It's got a great theme song that Melanie can do, also. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm choosing to uh, <laughs> save that. She's yep. the fifth. Save it for the actual episode <laughs> when we do it. that. Yeah. So, um. Fast and furious. I guess she's not passing on it. That's just a little taste, guys. When we get to Fast and Furious, you'll get the whole... We'll do a whole music video. 
Ding, ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Wow. Wrong, wrong movie. Wrong that movie. was great. Yeah, no, that was great. It still worked. <laughs> that was the best thing. My face hurts. I'm laughing so hard. Ding, ding. Um. So uh, they stop for lunch and uh, don't ever order the special. No. Yeah. Space soup and space special. Unless you like I'll have alien. The cleavage. No, I mean, it's special. So, and ironically, that is, uh, what's the name of the actor? John Hurt. Yep, John Hurt. Reprising his role from Alien. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that as a kid. No, No. because you didn't see Alien as a kid. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for Mm -hmm. those who had seen Alien as a kid, it's one of the best in-jokes ever. And then you get the Michigan J. Frog bit. But Mm -hmm. even better is when John Hurt, like, looks up at the alien and goes, not Not again. again. (laughs) Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Everybody knew that from Looney Tunes. That was, you know, great. That that skit and everybody's o- reactions like check please yeah, yeah. that that skit always made me sad though in uh, Looney Tunes because that guy invested all that money in that little frog that's true he yeah. lost everything because that yeah. frog was like just an asshole and then he just well, and he, he just was, like tries you know. to like he reburies the frog in yeah. the building yeah <laughs> it's like when you think about that you buried a live frog to, you you buried yeah. him alive put him know? in a box in it's my frog in a box. But think of that. That that frog was the the uh, mascot of the WB network. So yeah. long. You know? Yeah. I think yep. when they when they stopped the WB network, he, like he had like a farewell. As, oh really? Like, yeah, I think so. They uh, did something about it. But um, so Lone Star and Barf obviously leave the diner, and Barf is obviously. starving, and he's really upset that he didn't take the million. So yeah. Yeah. you know he gives him that fortune cookie that yogurt gave him. But like, remember, open it before you eat it. Has anybody ever just eaten a fortune cookie? Like I, I feel like yeah. I don't. Because then you'd have Well, I know eat, some people they'll, eat, they'll eat, eat like paper. half of it and pull it. You'd eat. I've just, seen that. I've yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. You were about to be so mean, and then you saw Melanie. Yeah, but not eat the whole thing. No, you, you eat half What's of it. And, I thought. Well, when you, before, I, I was about to like say before you said like grab it. And take the paper. I can out. see I like, Ronnie like we're all just like eating fortune cookies, <laughs> and you just see him. Hey Ronnie, what's your fortune? Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. Mine didn't come with one. <laughs> I'll tell you my <laughs> tell you my future. <laughs> yeah. Give me about thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's horrific. But uh, they open the fortune cookie, and you find out that yogurt can apparently travel via fortune cookie. Apparently, yeah. Who knew? And that Lone Star, the medallion he's been wearing, is actually a royal bus certificate. Your father was a king. king. Your yep. mother was a queen. So what does that make him? A certified prince. Oh, good thing he had that prince costume in his uh, closet. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And good thing he got back before she married Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Hold on. Where have you been? <laughs> so they use a can of liquid Schwartz. Schwartz. Liquid Schwartz. Schwartz. Yeah. To uh, make space tracks and get back to the, the wedding to stop it. But, of course, after a change of wardrobe for both of them. Absolutely. And Barf, all he did was just paint black over his actual costume. Yeah. Lone Star actually you know, had to go and find a prince outfit. With but he tassels. Just, with tassels. He had tassels. The and, shoulder and, pads. And yeah. Barf had his hair like totally redone. So mm-hmm. you know, he braided his hair you know, and all that time. <laughs> it, was, it was good. Can you imagine Lone Star just sitting there braiding his hair? <laughs> we, we, we have f- like four minutes. No, 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 no. It'll look good. It'll look good. <laughs> and uh, they interrupt the wedding. And, of course, the short, short version <laughs> Trying, is... trying to conduct a wedding here which has nothing to do with love. I'm sorry. Please be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Be quiet. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, But they do manage to get there in time, stop the wedding, and they live happily, happily ever after. Goodbye, they, virgin alarm. Because they've known each other for two days. But, um, yeah, that's uh, Spaceballs. Arguably, probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I can uh, easily yeah, say Strong that. words. Strong words. Strong words. Now, uh, we're going to open up the floor to any and all Fun facts. The floor's not open. I Don't worry. I, I, I opened it because I have one. Ronnie's got a fun fact. Yeah. That's Melanie's. It, it's actually, that's Melanie's. I know. I know. just stealing my job. I'm I had, sorry. I had one job. But this is very important. Okay. So okay, I'll th- there's actually technically two, right? <sighs> now so, you're just getting okay, No, check this <laughs> out. Ready? Give him an inch, man. Give him an inch. So Tesla Motors has used Spaceball's Starship Speeds as inspiration for naming their acceleration modes. I heard about that. Yeah. That's Tesla really has funny. a ludicrous mode in That's their awesome. acceleration. That's awesome. Yeah. And then also the Born Company, which is like Elon Musk's, the flamethrower he made back in 2018, 2019, was actually modeled after Spaceballs, uh, the flamethrower. Spaceball. Well, the kids did love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, so really quick, let's uh, – Melanie, any fun facts? Nope, nope. No. Ronnie I, took all the good ones. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. we're we're covered on fun facts. I'm and just I the only worst. Was able to do I don't one, think I'm so. ever allowed back. Nah. <laughs> uh, we'll see, you know. 
<laughs> nah. Oh. That was a no. Maze. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. Can't wait till we do that movie at some point. Adam Sandler month. But um, <laughs> God. So we need more than a month. No, you, uh, for his good movies, a month. Well, for fine. his good ones, yeah. Yeah. We could do a good Adam Sandler and a bad Adam yeah. Sandler. <laughs> August is Adam Sandler month. It's not, you're not part of this podcast. <laughs> I am now because you included me. One time. You had to invite. It's like a vampire. You invite a man, you can, we won't leave. <laughs> that's, that's not true, maybe. Yeah. What is it? You you rescind his invitation? I was about to uh, say, yeah. I tell we him to go rescind. outside of the sun, but he probably Ryan just disappears out the front door. Can we just, start, no. can we just like, start smoking? Oh, God. Gotta get out of here. But, Am um, I a demon? <laughs> yes. Any... Favorite scene. So we'll go around. I think I think I said mine. My favorite scene in this. It always gets me is the him with the dolls. That is like just great. yeah. It it's just too funny. And it was originally not in the screenplay. Mm-hmm. So they came up with that idea on the set one day, and Rick Moranis improvised the whole thing, which yeah. is just it's a testament to how good of an actor and comedian he was. Oh, he was. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, like I said, he, you know, him and John Candy, you know, part of. Uh, you know that the STTV, which is you know, was huge on improvisation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, John Candy when he uh, stands up with the seatbelt on. Oh, oh that's gonna good. Be the yeah. Mark. yeah, that's another good one. Uh, Sean, a favorite scene Ooh, in this movie? That's tough. Um, it's probably a tie between the um, Spaceballs the video, <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously the the, the back and forth between um, you know Dark Helmet and and Colonel Sanders. That one obviously is. You know, memorable for me, and then the um, I owe it that the whole uh, the asshole scene that just oh, yeah, gets yeah, every that. time that just gets me. I love that, you know that that's great. But there's so many, but those two are probably my go tos. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, um, I would have to say either the doll scene, like you said, Paul, um, or the whole uh, beaming bit. <laughs> Where he's backwards. Know about that beaming stuff is it safe? <laughs> I also meanwhile. Uh, all you gotta do is walk out a oh, door. That's the best, that, that was that's it. The best I mean, part that of was it. great. I mean, it was just like, it was like forget it. I'm gonna walk. You know, it's another scene we didn't even bring up that I that I really enjoy. Which one? Um, when he's standing in the speeder on the desert and he's looking and he's like, "All right, prepare to move out. Prepare for it. Why are you always preparing? Just go, driver. Just go. Just going." <laughs> Sir, you better sit down. <laughs> uh, Melanie, favorite scene or a scene that just sticks out to you? Um. Well, I was going to go with the Princess Vespa singing in the cell just because it, it cracks me up. Like, you, you expect some, like, really beautiful thing. And just, she's a bass. She a bass. She's a bass. Um, but after learning a little bit more um, about the scene with the dolls and, and how that was totally improv, um, that would probably be my, my favorite scene in this whole movie for sure. Just, it's hilarious to have that whole conversation. It's, you know, it makes you think back to when you were little and you were having, well, maybe not you guys, but playing with we dolls when you were figures, little. We had action figures, G.I. Joe's, Power Rangers. Like you, you, you know, you think about kids just like making Ninja up this Turtles. whole. That's, Paul's like, I'm going to go hide my action figures now. I know, Superman. <laughs> well, I wasn't doing Batman. stuff like that. I was like, I'm going to kill you. No, you're yeah. not. Or like, Red you flag. know, <laughs> playing, playing, tr- whatever you played yeah. with as a kid. Just, you know, you, you had house. this imagination. And that you, <laughs> and that usually kind of disappears for the most part when you get mm-hmm. older. Um. But the fact that he was able to be an adult, I know, I know, it's all relative. But to see him play out this whole entire scene with dolls, it's just, it's hilarious. It, yeah. it really is just so funny. And then, and then he gets caught doing it. I didn't see you playing with your dolls, sir. Good. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I think th- here's what I want to do to wrap this show up. First, we're gonna. I have a list of all the merchandise in this movie. Spaceballs Legion merchandise nice shown in the movie includes bed. Sh- sp- I'm not going to say Spaceballs the for oh, each of these. I got you. Mm-hmm. The bed sheet, the flamethrower, the lunchbox, cornflakes, towels, the yogurt doll, toilet paper, shaving cream, placemat, action figures. Yeah, I feel like there was more. Mm, no, that that's all on the list though. Well, the coloring book was was Transformers, right? We talked about yeah, that yeah. already though. It's cheating, but um. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap us up. We did have our fan feed. Oh, fun, oh, oh sorry. But go. fun fact about this movie. Um, Just one? George Lucas read the script before it was finished filming, and he absolutely loved it. Oh, love and it. he told Mel Brooks that I have no issues with this movie. The only thing is you cannot make any mer- – you can't make any toys out of this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's 
basically where you get the whole merchandising joke yeah. in the movie. Mm-hmm. He's basically joking on the whole Star Wars, you know, mm-hmm. merchandising, you know, campaign that was going on at that time. Um, but yeah, that was uh I always found funny that and and and, and George Lucas has proven he has a sense of humor oh, as yeah, you yeah. will hear in a later episode we're going to do on a, a certain movie. Um he is not afraid to laugh at what he's created. Yeah. Except for what Disney did to it. He won't laugh at that. But um cuz they ruined it. <laughs> but the man the man has a sense of humor and he'll he'll laugh at anything that that yeah. you know make him, you know, go with the uh with the Star Wars franchise. But and then obviously as I said before, you know, by him liking it, ILM came in and did the effects, mm-hmm. all that stuff. So when you have George Lucas's seal of approval, you must be doing something right. Yeah, right? mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Yeah. I yeah. wish I had a seal of approval. I'm sure you do. One no, day. I don't. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to wrap up with, uh, as you guys know, if you follow us on Facebook, today is Friday, and it is Fan <laughs> Feedback Friday. So every Friday, we like to uh, do a little... Sorry. I was laughing because you said... You're so far from the microphone. I was laughing because you said, if you follow us, you know it's Friday. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only way. <laughs> Nobody has calendars. God. Oh, so, I have a calendar joke. You I don't follow it? us, no. so it's only you Tuesday want, to me. You uh. want to hear a good calendar joke? No. <laughs> do you know? Do you know why <laughs> calendar is scared all the time? Why? Because its days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ironically, we're having calendar jokes on day on the number of days, and we started off the podcast. We're talking about, about days. days. Yeah. It's tomorrow. It's like a circle. It's going to be May. It's going to be May. All that I do. Anyway, so and today's... not for you. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> so know nobody knows. <laughs> but Jesus. <laughs> so, so this fun sh- fan sh- Friday. Shut the frack up, everyone. <laughs> and back to it. Fun so, Fan Friday. Fantastic Friday. Get the flock fans. out of here. Fan fun I'm take Friday. Her away. <laughs> so it's provide a movie quote that gives away the film without saying the title. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying one person did a line that I can't even tell you what the movie's from. So we'll start there. I know the movie it's from. Oh, okay. So Sean does. Oh, nice. You've been ruining everybody's lives and eating all our steak. Sean, what movie is that? Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. I yep. hate that movie. That's really? why I didn't know it. Oh, I should have known that I'm not one. a fan of it either, but it's I do the line. <laughs> That's really funny. Now, I'm not going to say names. I'm just going to go through Paul. these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Easy. But, um, I don't know. No, nah, I don't know. Sean, you're going to appreciate this one. Why buy the cow when you can get the sex for free? Mm-hmm. What movie? I can't remember, actually, for the life what? of me. What? No, I, I didn't either. I can't really? remember. I'm blanking. Would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? Oh, Morris. Yeah. Who wrote that one? Very good. Yeah, they're Thanks. very good. Thanks. My grandma used to say, "Why?" My... <laughs> that, uh, your your grandma did it? not say that. She did every day. Then she turned into a lesbian on her seventy fifth birthday. <laughs> With um, Brendan Fraser. Yes. Is huh? that the right movie? Am I thinking of? No, that would be, that's Clerks. Oh, no. Brendan Fraser's not in Clerks either. No, he's not. No. You th- no. you got him confused with T.S. Yeah, he. It, they no. look, they they look, look similar. Much no, what's the... You got I'll, I'm going to Google it. Okay. Come back to me. All yeah, right, the then. Google machine. Uh, then we have, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. I don't know what that one's I've never me. heard that one before either. So weird. It insists upon itself. <laughs> Good job, asshole. It's insisting! Uh, <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Uh, where we're going, we don't need roads. Hmm. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Oh, that's that's my motto right there. <laughs> what I got it? the movie. What movie? It's Airheads. Airheads. Uh, he says that in Airheads too? That, wow. No. I forgot no, no, about that No, no, that quote is from yeah. Mallrats, yeah. but Brendan Fraser's in Airheads. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. a movie that that's I was thinking fair, of. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, that's, I that's, that's, that's close. I forgot about that movie. Yeah. 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 When I think Brendan Fraser, I think Encino Man. I think bedazzled. When, oh, when, when, bedazzled. When I think we of love, Brendan Fraser, I think of... <laughs> when you think of what? George of the Jungle? George no, the Brendan Fraser, I just don't like him. You don't like Brendan Fraser? You do not you, like him You at shut all. your whore What mouth? is wrong with you? He insists upon himself. That's funny. <laughs> He's like one you of the You don't like nicest... the mummy? No. Uh, you gotta watch Doom Patrol. I, or, I do not like him. He's so or, good in Doom Patrol. Or Mrs. Winterborn. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's for my mom. 
Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a deep cut. Oh, God. Dud- gods and monsters. Dudley uh, do right. Yeah. Dudley do right. Oh yeah. my God. I, really? Not even George of the Jungle though? No, he's just too one-dimensional. Mm. Mm. I can I can see that. Oh my God! It's like I, I don't can, even know him sometimes. I can I can see that God, now he, and then. He married us. We let this guy marry us. He's oh. he's in now and then. Wait, why was he talking to you? <laughs> I know, he was he looking at me when he said that. <laughs> no, I'm just, oh, kind of having, I'm just having an existential crisis. Everyone, I was thinking. like, wait, why where was I when you guys got married? Why, I was like, why are you looking at me? What a visual that I was. married you guys and I don't even remember that? <laughs> so we'd love to hear your thoughts on Spaceballs and all the other Mel Brooks movies. No, we, uh, so that's going to wrap us up tonight. We, uh, we are starting our Star Wars week. We do have a. We'll have a special guest with us uh, next week. Mm-hmm. Not Melanie. No. no. May the force be with you. Guys. I mean, she could join. She did see Star Wars: A New Hope. So, I did. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll I just did. do the last Jedi. And so, I, I, I was a little I just, upset about the end. I, I, I just. No, I, I can only imagine the scene in uh, How I Met Your Mother, and she's like pretends yeah. to. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I loved it. And mm-hmm. like, you didn't like it, did you? No, mm-hmm. God, it was horrible. I couldn't. I can't. I can't watch that again. But ironically, again, she got so into Mortal Kombat last night. She gets up, she starts doing like the, dun, 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 like the, the, just like rocking back and forth. And Nothing like, wrong with that. I was like, she's going to punch me in the face. <laughs> that's gonna be, that's going to be an accident on purpose sort of thing. I'm going to walk in today, pause a black guy and be like, what happened? She finished <laughs> me. Fatality. Fatality. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I kept, that's why I kept talking. <laughs> Flawless victory. And but anyway. we're moving on. So, um, Ow, if you guys. That's a dead dig right there. No. He, oh, okay. Wow. One. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything because I my let mom Sh- might be listening. I let Sean curse just for this episode. Now he's going off the rails. I didn't say anything. He didn't that say anything. Bad. He stopped. He stopped. Yeah. That's not bad. But uh, we would love to hear your thoughts on uh, Mel Brooks Month as a whole. What were some of your favorite mo- uh, moments? I had trouble speaking. Your moments. Moments. Your moments. <laughs> Why does everything I do sound like a leprechaun? And uh, some thoughts on Star Wars. We are going to be doing uh, Star Wars A New Hope, then Empire. Empire. Return of the Jedi, and then we have a bonus movie planned for the month of May that we will announce probably the week before. So uh, the best way to reach us is on Facebook. You can find us at Cinematic Adventures. You can also find our website. Is it Attack of the Clones? It's not Attack of the Clones. It's a Brendan the, Fraser movie. It, it should be. <laughs> TheMisfitFaction.com. You can also find our Instagram, which is where we're going to be posting uh, uh, promotional stuff and all sorts of different things. And uh, we are preparing to do our first giveaway, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you want to hear yeah, more, it's character. I will give him that. It's, it's like too much. It's like when you put too much flavoring on your dish. It's a little spicy. What dish? I don't know. <laughs> she hit the mic again. No, I didn't. I hit the. I hit the, uh-huh. table. the whole table <laughs> that time. I hit the whole table. Everything. Shook. It was an earthquake. It was an. Whoa. There's not an f in earthquake. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> earthquake. He said coming, earth, coming said, from the one that couldn't speak earlier. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Can't breathe in this thing. But anyway. Um, I lost my train of thought. So if you want to hear a little bit more content from us, you can find uh, Ronnie, our, one of our guests, on the Multiverse Fancast, where we talk comics and comic book movies and TV shows. If you're looking for a little bit more intellectual stimulation, not tonight, hey. but... Yeah, you check st- out Baby Little Files Assemble? On, on Instagram. Instagram. Our, our most followed member of the uh, Misfit Faction. Yeah. How many, how many followers are you up to now? Um, one million. 812. That's pretty awesome. We have 60 followers on Instagram. We have more more than that. It's almost really? 70. Almost 70. Almost 70. <gasps> Look at us go. Oh my God. It's whatever. You know, swag. But uh, the best way you guys can uh, show any support for the network is to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, downloads are very big for us. So if you're on Podbean, Apple Podcasts, give Spotify. Us, uh, give us some suggestions of what you guys want to hear us talk about. Give us a little tickle. No. Huh? No. No. <laughs> So that'll wrap us up tonight. As always, I'm Paul. He's not coming back. I'm Sean. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Melanie. Go to ludicrous speed. Go. Mm